Hello YouTube, it's Grosama, and here I have the High Grade Obsidian Fury from Pacific Rim Uprising. Um, now, I know the movie's been out for a little bit, but I'm not going to go into any spoiler territory. What you see in the trailers, um, it's, it's actually more so the highlights of the battles. Um, there's there's two separate battles uh, that you know takes place in the movie that includes the Obsidian Fury. Um, now, the Obsidian Fury is pretty much pretty much an antagonist um, but I'm not gonna go into any kind of spoiler territory on exactly um, you know what you know what piloted the uh, Obsidian Fury but overall hey I love the scenes in the movie it looked really great and the action was fantastic um, and the model I think the model is just as fantastic as it was in the movie uh, in the movie so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the articulation Okay, so looking at the head, uh, the head looks really good. Uh, the sculpting is amazing. Uh, it's gonna have this little clear piece right there in the center, uh, but overall, it looks really, really good. Now, in the neck, um, well, I guess like more or less on the collar, uh, there's a lot of hydraulics. I don't really wanna pull this off. Well, I guess I will. <laughs> but inside, there's a lot of different hydraulics you can go ahead and detail. Um, they won't, you know, they'll come out in small, like, doses because obviously the head's going to be uh, blocking a lot of that. But, I mean, just, like, the, the subtle colors right inside there will look fantastic. Um, but overall, I love, love, love the head sculpt. And uh, the posability is amazing. I mean, it can look, you know, all the way over there, all the way up there. Um, can look up that far and down that far. So, um, can do a little chicken head, but overall it's really really good and um, the clear little visor piece looks fantastic as well. Okay, so taking a look at the body, um, the body looks great as well. There's definitely a lot of different decals that's going to be placed all over the body. Um, but I just went ahead and you know panel line the entire kit in this like uh, really really light gray. Um, to be honest, like I, I I do like it. I think it, I think it brings out the uh, the details a lot more. Uh, but I kind of wish I would have went with maybe like a brown. Uh, I mean overall, I wish I would have uh, went ahead and like top coated and did some detail painting as well as some detail. Um, uh, weathering on here like maybe some silver and all that uh, but honestly during the time I built this I didn't have all the tools necessary to do so so I kind of just left it as, as is but maybe uh, in the future I'll go ahead and I'll just go ahead and you know start doing all that detail work uh, but the body itself I mean they have like a lot of nice posability uh, right here in the abdomen uh, so not really side to side but you get a forward and backwards like that um, now there's gonna be a little ball joint right inside here so it can move all around like that um, and then the back looks pretty good too. You have like this little weird like spinal kind of like attachment onto it, but it looks really good. Um, overall, like the details are fantastic and I absolutely love it. Okay, let's take a look at the arms. Uh, we'll look at the shoulders first. There's gonna be two different kind of like joints right here for the shoulders. Uh, so this top one right here, obviously this can go up and down. And then this big part right here can go up and down as well. Uh, but it's not really gonna be much, like it's connected to the arm itself. Uh, so like wherever the arm goes, pretty much the shoulder is gonna go as well. But overall, it looks pretty good. And you know, the, the fact that it separates like this, I think it kind of, I don't know, it, it kind of gives you like a better quality of a model than what it actually is because it kind of feels it feels a little bit lighter and just not as like dense as like a Gundam but it, it still it still maintains a really really good quality uh, especially out of later uh, you know detail but the arms themselves uh, they do have a little um, rotation right here right below uh, right pretty much above the bicep and then here's gonna be two points of art uh, articulation like so so you do get the really really nice bend and then the hands are gonna be on little ball joints like so okay can't really say too much about the waist so I'll just kind of connect the uh, the articulation with the waist and the legs together uh, but the waist looks pretty good you have like these weird I don't know like like weird pistons that don't really go anywhere they're just kind of they're just kind of there so I don't I don't really get that but uh, overall, they look pretty good. Um, I know there's obviously a connection point uh, in the back over here, which I think is this little piece. Okay, so you just take this little piece off that connects uh, right there. Now, this is for the stands, but this kit doesn't come with a stand, and I know there's some attachments for um, even some of like the, uh, the Gundam stands, technically. Uh, they actually have that little um, kind of just rectangle piece. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have anything like that in my collection, so I can't really show you uh, anything with it kind of like displayed with uh, a stand. 
Okay, so we're taking a look at the legs. Uh, legs are really good. They have a lot of details inside the uh, the inner thigh, like so. Um, so like this, I would love to paint as well as these little parts uh, right here. It's just like screaming for like a bronze and some silver, uh, but overall it looks really good. Now the joints right here and the uh, where the where it connects to the waist is super super poseable. Um, so you're really not gonna have any issues. Well, I guess except for if you're kind of like splitting them like that, then yeah, but. I don't think this leg should really go up even further than that. I think just for the realistic view, um, this is fine like so. Now uh, you're also going to have a two-point articulation bend right here on the knee, uh, which to me is really, really good. And then you're going to have this part right here, which I guess this is supposed to be maybe the, the boosters or something. Um, so not like not this, but like inside here, maybe there are boosters and this kind of just protects it. Um, but this is going to have its own little piece of articulation like so. And then for the ankle, basically just get some nice little uh, movement right there. Some side to side pivots, which to me is like fantastic. Uh, and then you can kind of like move it back and forth. Um, but overall, you know, legs are really, really awesome and fantastic. So let's go ahead and move on to the accessories. Now aside from the fist that it actually has, he also comes with these open hands which they don't have any kind of posability to them, they just, you know, a little ball joint inside the wrist, uh, but overall, hey, if you want to do something with some open hands, you can definitely do that with these. And some other accessories that you actually get are going to be these plasma chainsaws. So the only thing that you need to do to go ahead and get these attached on is remove this little outer layer part right there on the forearm, and then you're going to just slap this right inside this little hole and then reconnect the forearm right on top of the chainsaw. And here he is with both the plasma chainsaws attached and they look really, really good. Um, I like them kind of just flap, you know, kind of going with it, but he does come with two other accessories. So he's also going to come with these translucent, kind of like orange uh, slash, like a, it's like a weird orange yellow color, uh, but he's going to get these plasma chainsaws that are really nice and translucent. Um, now the top part and the underneath it is going to have to be painted black, uh, or I guess like a gray, because in the manual, as you can see right over there, uh, they're supposed to be uh, pretty much black. So hey, I, I didn't really want to paint it out, I just wasn't in the mood. Uh, but overall, if you do want to go ahead and paint it, or if you really just kind of feel bothered that it's not painted, um, then you can go ahead and do so if you want. Okay, so for comparisons, here he is next to a high grade Gundam model and the Robot Spirits Gypsy Avenger. So obviously, there is a uh, pretty significant uh, height difference from the model and the uh, Robot Spirits line, but you know what? I, I still think the overall details. Uh, come out a little bit more in the high grade than what I think the Robot Spirits. But then this is also a toy, so you have more playability uh, with this. So overall, my final thoughts and opinion on this kit um, is I think it looks fantastic. Um, it's really, really dark. Uh, so I, I really recommend, you know, you can use the stickers, but I think you can easily just use some um, either gold or some yellow paint uh, for the, all those little markings, or at least for most of them. And uh, you can really use some bronze, some silver, some gold, uh, just some really nice bright cr uh, contrast colors to really bring out the details a little bit more if you can. Um, I, th I think, I th and this is just my honest opinion, I think doing a straight build like I done, um, even with like the panel lines I've, I've done on it, it just, it doesn't really stand out that much. Um, so maybe do, if you, I mean it's really up to you if you want to do a glossy coat or if you want to do a dull coat. I think it would probably benefit from a glossy coat uh, instead of a dull. Um, but overall, I think it looks fantastic. Um, you know, even out of the box, hey, it, looks, it, it still looks really good. Um, I would just recommend, hey, put a little bit extra work into it, uh, just that way on your shelf, people will be like, whoa, wow, that looks really bright and shiny. I wonder where that's from. Uh, but other than that, guys, definitely thanks for watching. Um, I, I, like I said before, I'm probably not going to be purchasing any other uh, high grades from the uh, Pacific Rim line, but if I happen to ever come across one that's like, you know, dirt cheap, uh, preferably the um, Gypsy Avenger, uh, then I'll probably, I might purchase it and I'll do a review. But as of right now, this is the only one I'm going to have in my collection. Um, so that's it, guys. Definitely thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for supporting. And I will see you guys on the next review. See you later. Bye-bye.